Hello friends this is Dr Ritvi and I welcome you to our channel homeopathy the healing power friends today we are going to study homeopathic medicine that suits to the extremes of life that is in old age and in the childhood it is one of the greatest anti scrofulous medicine and that is baraita carbonica also called it as baraita carb friends this medicine is indicated for variety of diseases of old age and specially for children as well in cases of tonsillitis that may be acute or chronic baraita carb works wonderfully so friends let's move on to the detailed study of this medicine if you are new to our channel and if you have not subscribed our channel till now then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded from homeopathy the healing power and if you found this video helpful in your studies and if this video has improved your knowledge in matra medica then give this video a big thumbs up give this video a like and of course share this video among homeopathic students and new practitioners friends to understand in detail baraita carb do watch this video till the end so let's get started baraita carb baraita carb is proved by dr samuel hanuman sir the common name of this medicine is barium carbonate bacco3 is the chemical formula of this mineral Baraita carb is one of the fully proved constitutional deep acted medicine. Clinically, baraita carb is indicated in endorphism, in diseases of heart, diseases of brain. Also it is indicated in glandular swelling. Baraita carb is also indicated for high blood pressure. Also it is well indicated medicine for tonsillitis and quincy. Baraita carb acts well specially in memory defective cases friends let's see the sphere of action of baraita carb it acts well on nutrition also the main action of baraita is seen on glands throat prostate heart blood vessels and on nerves the profound action of baraita carb is seen on nutrition so here it produces symptoms of malnutrition and also some degenerative changes also friends we have seen that it acts on glands so by acting on glandular system it causes inflammation and hypertrophy of glands so here it specially acts on throat and on neck so specially the glands of throat and neck are affected and when they are affected inflammation and hypertrophy of this glands are seen friends we have also seen that baraita carb is indicated in extremes of life that is in childhood and in old age so in old age it is capable of acting on muscular coat of heart and on the muscular coat of blood vessels where it produces arteriosclerosis that means the blood vessels get thicken and hemorrhages may occur due to this pathological changes it may give rise to high blood pressure especially in old men so baraita carb is indicated for high bp in old age the constitution makeup of baraita carb is very unique baraita carb patient are dwarfish in appearance they are mentally weak also they are physically weak they have short stature when indicated in children there is a typical picture of keratinism seen they have short stature and swollen abdomen with puffy face and enlarged glands as well as they have thick lips and idiotic appearance on face also because baraita carb is indicated in old age in old age baraita carp also have a very typical physical look there is a childish behavior seen in old age people baraita carp have melancholic temperament 
बराटा कार्प इज चिल्ली पेशेंट एंड दे हैव ट्यूबरकुलर एंड स्क्रोफ्यूलस डायथिसिस एंड सो दिस इज द रीजन वाई बराटा कार्प इज कंसिडर्ड एज द ग्रेट एंटी स्क्रोफ्यूलस मेडिसिन बिकॉज इट इज वेल इंडिकेटेड इन ऑल डिसीजेस ऑफ ग्लैंडुलर अफेक्शंस दैट वी विल डिस्कस हियर इन द अपकमिंग क्लिनिकल पार्ट डॉल्फिशनेस रंस इन बराइटा कार्प डॉल्फिशनेस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सिम्टम ऑफ बराइटा कार्प दिस डॉल्फिशनेस इज सीन मेंटली एंड फिजिकली इन अडल्ट यू विल सी डॉल्फिशनेस इन चिल्ड्रन यू विल सी डॉल्फिशनेस ऑल्सो इन ओल्ड एज देर इज एंड डॉल्फिशनेस अ चाइल्डिश लाइक बिहेवियर देर इज वन अनादर की नोट ऑफ बराइटा कार्प दैट इज बराइटा कार्प पेशेंट takes cold very easily every cold settles in the throat which result in sore throat tonsillitis and then quincy even a barata cough patient may have history of taking cold easily in childhood a barata cough baby gets also affected easily when exposed to cold air and an adult barata cough patient may have an history of getting cold easily in their childhood origin of symptoms in barata carp symptoms are originated due to emotions and due to suppression of food sweat exposure to cold also brings symptoms of throat very easily in barata carp patient friends the mental symptoms of barata carp patient are very peculiar and very unique barata carp patient are generally foolish and idiotic in nature they have loss of memory they have deficient intelligence there is a mental weakness also there is dwarfishness seen this dwarfishness is seen both physically and mentally as discussed earlier patient is again idiotic and foolish there is a complete lack of confidence in himself there is a loss of memory with great forgetfulness patient is so much forgetful that he does not even remember what he has spoken about there is a childishness and thoughtless behavior seen in patient this forgetfulness and childish behavior is also seen in adults the patient forgets the most familiar words while talking patient is unable to recall them Barata Carp patient imagines that he has been criticized or being laughed by others. Patient also imagines that he he is walking on knees. Most of the time patient even have dreams that he is walking on his knees. Thinking of one's complaint make them worse. This is also most important PQRS symptom of Barata Carp. Whenever the barata carp think of his complaint his complaints get aggravated his complaints get worse that may be any complaint this is the most important symptom of barata barata carp patient have variety of fears barata carp fears about his own business he fears that his business will collapse there is fear about his future about domestic affairs The barata carp patient becomes serious in laughable matters and laughs on serious matters just like platina ignitia and anacardium They generally become very angry but soon they feel sorry for it As barata carp is indicated for children the children also have very unique mental symptoms Children are very idiotic again forgetful with loss of memory and with very deficient intelligence they have lack of confidence in themselves barata carp children are so much weak so much idiotic that they cannot be taught they cannot be taught how to walk and they are generally very inattentive in class they cannot remember whatever they have been taught again they have loss of memory and very weak intelligence the child does not wants to play the barata carp baby sits in a corner and does nothing but throws stones at strangers there is great fear of strangers 
great dread of men aversion to strangers and society the Paraita ka baby hides himself behind the furnitures whenever strangers come in. The child does not want to look up or to be looked at. Confusion and bashfulness is also seen in children. Senile dementia is also seen in Paraita carp. Paraita carp acts well on glands. Also, the Baraita carp patient takes cold easily, which settles in the throat and produces tonsillitis. So now, let's see the tonsillitis of Baraita carp. Here in Baraita carp, tonsillitis is caused because of separation of food sweat by taking cold drinks and by exposure to cold air. Every cold settles in the throat. This is the keynote of this medicine. Here the tonsils are inflamed with engorged veins. Also along with tonsillitis, enlarged glands of the neck are also seen. There is a smarting type of pain felt in the throat region while swallowing the food. The throat is sore to touch. Tonsils are enlarged which gets easily separate, get turns into quincy easily. Generally, right side is affected. And along with the tonsillitis, there is a swelling of whole palate. This tonsillitis gets aggravated while swallowing the food. That is nothing but the pain get aggravates while swallowing the food. And when thinking about the troubles, the complaints get aggravated. This is the keynote of this medicine that whenever the patient think of his troubles, the complaints that that respective complaints get aggravated. Along with this tonsillitis, a one concomitant symptom is seen, that is, there is a sensation of plug in the throat. The patient constantly feels that there is a sensation of plug in the throat. Barata carp is also indicated in toothache. Here the toothache occurs in decayed teeth. Generally, the toothache occurs before menses and from taking cold. This toothache gets worse when thinking about it and the pain disappears when the mind is diverted. After eating, the teeth feels too weak to chew anymore. This is also most important symptom of Baraita. Baraita carp is also indicated for bleeding gums and in retracted gums. Generally, the patient here wakes up with dry mouth. In stomatitis also Baraita carp is indicated where there is mouth fully filled with inflamed vesicles with smarting and burning type of the pain which is felt at the tip of the tongue. Dribbling of saliva along with this is also seen. Baraita carp patient also have some unique symptom that is the patient feels spasm of esophagus whenever a food enters. Baraita carp is one of the glandular remedy. Here glands are affected easily. Swelling and induration with suppuration of glands is seen, especially in cervical and in inguinal glands. Whenever an old age patient is affected, generally here enlargement of prostate gland is seen. Along with this, induration of testis is also seen. Baraita carp acts well in this condition. Baraita carp is also indicated in mania during pregnancy. There is loquacious mania seen during pregnancy. Here the pregnant lady talks continuously. There is no logic behind her talk. And the most important feature along with this loquacity is seen that is the patient wants to go out of the house. This is most important PQRS symptom of Baraita carp. Patient here can hardly do anything because the patient can hardly make her mind to do anything. So there is a loquacity with tendency to go out of the house. Baraita carp is one of the invaluable remedy especially for the diseases of old age. Baraita carp is well indicated for enlarged and induration and hypertrophy of prostate gland seen in old age. Also it is well indicated for indurated testes. Baraita carp is one of the most important medicine for old age, specially indicated 
when there is an atrophy of cranial matters during old age barata carb is indicated in cardiovascular diseases especially when the cardiac symptoms comes after the suppression of foot sweats there is a palpitation and distress felt in the region of heart here the palpitation is felt more by the patient when patient lies on left side and especially when patient thinks of his complaint the pulse becomes hard and full here barata carb is also indicated for aneurysms and for atheromas also barata carb here is indicated for high blood pressure friends let's see some more keynotes of barata carb barata carb is well indicated for coryza and cough especially seen in children when they are exposed to cold and they catch the cold easily barata carb is also indicated in baldness in young people where the young people get baldness very easily and their scalp is very sensitive to touch barata carp acts well on male reproductive organs here a premature impotency is seen and barata carp acts very well in this cases barata carp have twitching of muscles felt during sleep they generally talk in sleep barata carp is also indicated for dwarfish hysterical women with scanty menses barata carp is also indicated for dry suffocative cough especially in old people when the mucus is fully filled in the lungs but the patient lacks the strength to expectorate it this complaints get worse by every change of weather larynx feels as if the smoke is inhaled there is chronic aphonia seen stitching type of pain is felt in the chest region which get worse on inspiration the lungs feel full of smoke relation with other medicines barata carp is antidoted by antimtar belladonna camphor and mercury it is complementary to dalkamara silicia and sorinum barata carp is incompatible to calcarea carp barata carp when given removes the tendency of recurrent tonsillitis and quincy so friends this is the detailed video on barata please leave your valuable feedback and any suggestion in the comments section given below like and share this video subscribe the channel to meet again thank you for watching